Just, we kind of talked about this yesterday, man. Um, how much do you know about the whole monster energy acquisition? Um, I know a little bit about it. I know that monster, um, bought Canarchy Brewing Collective or yeah. collection or something like that for $330 million. Cash. Um, I don't know why it would be cash. Maybe that's not accurate, but I mean, they bought they, they, uh, what I, what, what I, what I read was that they bought it. Um, as to how they did, they did. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not entirely positive on that part, but um, it's a big move. It's a big move. Uh, I don't know what monster, like fully, what monster is going to do. They're definitely going to come out with a hard seltzer, but are they going to step into actual beer? Um, I hope they don't go and change things about the uh, the breweries that they just bought. Like, I hope that Oscar Blues. Ask, yeah, I hope they don't change the breweries. Like, buying it is fine, but don't buy it and try to change what made it what it is because monster didn't do that you know oscar blues made it oscar blues so i hope i hope they didn't i don't I hope they don't ch try to change you know change who they are or the marketing or what have you um change just means because monster is involved cut corners cash probably just means no shares just cash jorge castro yeah um with that it was cigar city you know we talked a lot about tampa bay breweries and people recommend that one the most oscar blues deep Ellum. i don't know that one Perrin Brewing, Squatters, and Wasatch, Wasatch. I don't know. But the big one to me is Oscar Blues just because I see Dale's Pale Ale everywhere. That's a big brand. And um, hopefully they know what they're doing because as as we know, this this doesn't work out well for a lot of brands. Like it didn't work out well for Constellation. Yeah. Constellation's like I don't even know where Ballast Point is right now. Constellation bought Ballast Point in 2015 for a billion dollars and they clearly lost. They clearly lost in that. They bought for way too high. The old owners firm Ballast Point sold for a billion, they won. And then they took off and started their own distillery called Cutwater, Cutwater. And then, uh, which I think they sold out to Budweiser, AB InBev. And, um, and now Ballast Point is with a Chicago company, uh, something like Convicts and Kings or Kings and Convicts and they, they bought Ballast Point for an undisclosed amount. I think that sounds bad. If it was a big number, I think a lot, of a lot of people would know about it. So at the end of the day, Constellation bought very high and they sold very low. So we'll see how this works out for Monster. Um, it's just one of those things where I don't know. Time will tell. Do you care if a brewery sells out? or if you Are you a fan of any of those brands that they bought? And if so, will you still continue to buy them? Or if they hypothetically were a brand that you liked, would you mm -hmm. would you care? Um, I do like Deep Ellum. Deep Ellum is a uh, Dallas-based brewery. Well, oh, okay. technically it's in Deep Ellum, which is right outside of Dallas, Texas. Um, I've been to the brewery. I've uh, had quite a bit of the, – they've got one very popular one uh, – Dallas Blonde, uh, it's one of my wife's like one of my wife's favorite beers, um, and it's I, I will probably continue drinking the uh, from the brewery. As far as do I like, am I am I a fan of when when these buyouts are happen? I would say generally speaking, yes, I am a fan of it. I think um, to a degree, right? Um, the in this case, it was bought um, Monster bought Canarchy, um, and it was Canarchy that bought you know the other breweries. So that part is a little, you know, a little too, um, I don't know, very poach, very poach-y. Um, I think there, you know, it could have just been, uh, we're going to just try to buy up a thing because, you know, it's, it looks like it's making money, um, opposed to like buying it because they want to make it better. Or, like, you know, they want to put their own spin on it. I don't know. Um, so I guess it depends on the reason as to why they're buying it. But yeah, I, I, I think generally speaking, it's a good thing because it will give it will give um, people at, for instance, Deep Ellum Brewing Company more money. And money means you can actually spend more on ideas. And ideas is what you put, you know, into your glass. It's your resource. Um, so I think, I think um, generally, yes, I'm, I am a fan so long as they're buying it because they want to, you know, either keep, keep it to ensure it's going to continue how it is mm -hmm. or to try to make it better in in you know the right ways you know i don't want you to try to make it better by cleaning house and then bringing in all these executives that have never brewed beer or you know couldn't have couldn't tell you anything about how it's made or anything like that just money guys not beer guys yeah yeah and Jorge castle is right you can't let one it didn't work for consolation but if i feel like it always works out for ab inviv it always works out for budweiser 
except when they're trying to buy Northern Brewer. Ah, too soon. <laughs>